Hi there, and welcome to the second video in our course. In this video, we'll learn about managing your relationships with Nexel's contacts feature. We'll take a closer look at Nexel's contact records, data enrichment, and relationship insights, and review best practices for managing those relationships. Your contact list is at the very core of managing your relationships on Nexel. Let's take a look at your contact section here at the top of the left-hand menu. As we learned in our last video, Nexel connects directly to your firm's email server and automatically captures the contacts you interact with. No manual data entry required. When you first open your contact section, you'll see a list of all the contacts you've personally been engaging with. Let's start by opening up a contact record. On this first tab, you'll see the contact's profile information. This includes their email, company, job title, location, social profiles, work and education history, and any additional information populated by Nexel's data enrichment. You can also see any tags associated with this particular contact, as well as what lists they've been included in throughout the firm. In the Who Knows tab, under our firm, you can see who within your firm has interacted with this contact, the number of interactions, and the time of the last interaction. This information is extremely useful in determining the primary relationship holder or who's most up-to-date on a given matter or account. In the colleagues view, you can see who this contact interacts with most at their company. This helps you understand who the contact works closest with, who else to loop in on important communications, or who can help facilitate a conversation or a warm introduction. Lastly, in the third-party section, you'll see any mutual connections shared with this contact, meaning people both you and the contact have interacted with, who work outside your firm or the contact's company. If we move to the activity feed, you'll see all of the interactions this contact has had across your firm in chronological order. If you were a party to a given email or meeting, you'll see a live link that will take you to that specific email communication or meeting invitation. You can also use the Log New Activity button to record activities outside of emails and meetings, such as calls, lunches, conferences, and more. With a custom activity, you have the ability to categorize it either as business development or marketing to give the activity a title and a description, and to select one or more contacts or colleagues that were involved. In the Notes tab, you'll see notes that have been entered on this contact by anyone in the firm which is a great place to share insights about a given contact and leverage your firm-wide relationship knowledge. To add a note, simply click the Create Note button. You'll notice this top menu is available across all of the tabs, allowing you to easily create tasks. Add a note to the contact. Send the contact an email. Or view their LinkedIn profile. Most importantly, this top menu is where you can set stay-in-touch reminders. In business development, consistent follow-up is the key to success. Just click this drop-down menu and select a time frame, and Nexel will automatically remind you to stay in touch within that time frame. And since Nexel is connected to your email, you'll only get a notification when the time frame has lapsed without any interactions. You'll also note this three dots menu where you'll find the ability to edit the contact's details, update their email address, add the contact to a list, log a new activity, or in the rare instance where Nexel's data enrichment creates incorrect information, you can report this to our team. You'll also see an option to set a contact as private, which, once done, will remove any further interactions between yourself and that contact from firm wide view in both the contact activity feed and the company-wide activity feed. You'll also see options to remove the contact from your contacts or to archive them. Note that removing a contact from your contacts will remove them from your contact list, but will keep the contact available for others in the firm, whereas archiving a contact will remove the contact from the Nexel system altogether. For contacts or companies whose interactions you don't want to be tracked at all, you can contact the Nexel Client Services team to blacklist a specific email or domain. By default, your contacts will appear in chronological order, starting with your most recent interactions. 
but using the order by dropdown, you can sort by creation date or total interactions as well, in both ascending and descending order. This can help you identify top clients or contacts you want to re-engage with. In addition to sorting your contacts with the order by dropdown, you can also use Nexel's built-in filters to find different segments of contacts and create static or dynamic lists. You can create a new list by clicking the plus sign here. You'll have the option to create a new view or a new contact list. Let's dive a little deeper into each option. First, we'll look at creating a new view. Views are dynamic lists, meaning you can set various filters and anyone who matches those criteria will automatically be added to the list. If we go to more filters here and click the add filter button, you can see all the filters we have available from location to job title to industry and more. Let's say you're attending a conference in London, for example, and you want to see all your contacts who are based there so you can schedule some in-person coffees or dinners. You can select the city filter and create a city is London filter. If you want to narrow it down even further, you can combine multiple filters together. Here, for example, we could use the company type filter and select client to see all the London-based contacts who are clients specifically. By clicking the Update tab button, these filters will be saved and you can come back to this view anytime. And the great thing about dynamic views is that if you acquire a new client in London between now and the conference, they'll automatically get added to this list. Now let's look at creating a static contact list. These contact lists let you add people to a list one by one rather than automatically adding them based on a set of filters. Simply click the Add Contact button, then search for the name of the contact you want to add. These types of lists come in handy when you're creating a list of contacts that might otherwise be unrelated, like a holiday card list or a list of event attendees. The final type of list I want to take you through is Nexel's marketing list. You'll find marketing lists under the firm-wide section at the bottom here. Marketing lists are unique because they're geared specifically towards newsletters and events, and you can easily sync them with external email marketing systems. To create a new marketing list, click the Create List button in the top right corner. Simply give your list a title, select your list category, and click Create. Let's take a look at one of our marketing lists here. You can add contacts one by one by clicking the Add Contact button or import contacts from a spreadsheet using this button here. You can also use the Request Contacts feature, which gives you an easily copyable link to the list that you can share with others in your firm. Clicking the link will take them to a list builder where they can select which of their contacts they'd like to add. This is really useful for gathering event invites, building holiday lists, and more. As you can see here, marketing lists that are connected to email marketing systems will automatically sync changes to the given platform and will show you your open rate and click-through rate for connected email campaigns. In addition to the methods we've already discussed, you can also build lists and set stay-in-touch reminders by leveraging the search and filters we went through earlier. Just head to your contacts, apply any filters you like, and select the contacts you want to add to the list. Once one or more contacts are selected, you'll see these additional options appear, allowing you to set multiple stay-in-touch reminders at once or add contacts to lists in bulk. That concludes our overview of Nexel Contacts. Next up, we'll look at company records and how all this relationship information combines to create powerful company insights.